One thing Medusa Edged Weapons System founder Mike Raymond and I were talking about the other day was access to your weapon. Um, and training to access it under pressure. This is something that many in the Filipino martial arts community don't do. They, they start with the knife in the hand. It, it's a good idea and a good tactic if you find yourself in a place where lethal force violence may take place that you do access your knife ahead of time and have it in your hand, maybe hidden from view, but they're ready to be used. But the reality is there's a large likelihood that we'll have to access it under pressure. And I've been working on this for a long time and it's not always easy. Um, today I'm gonna use my uh, Jeff Hardy Soul Taker, his name. I love it, this is a beautiful knife. It, it, I, he did the sheath design based on my idea and I think I'll adjust that idea a little bit because while it is easy to access under under duress or when I'm hitting things, um, it's also very easy for someone else to access it and it can fall out of the pocket at the worst times because I made it so the, the sheet, it would just have no friction, just come out. And really the sheath is just there to protect my pocket and protect my skin. Um, but if I fall over, if I roll, there is a chance that I'll lose the knife. And a lost knife in a violent situation is a knife given to my opponent, possibly. I don't wanna give him a gift. The only gift I wanna give my opponents is the gift of pain until I can get away. The gift of injury until I can access safety. Now, having said that, and I have to say it again because there's so many stupid people out there. You never wanna be in a knife fight. You never wanna be in violence. You always wanna take escape or safety, getting to safety as your first option. You wanna use avoidance, de-escalation, blah, blah, blah. We know this shit. The switched on understand that. And they don't say, well, you should run away first and you know, no shit, Sherlock. That's a subject for another video, cause holy shit. And a lot of those people who I'm calling dumb are just people who have never really given this stuff any thought whatsoever. They're just saying a knee jerk thing that's so obvious. Well, now that I got sidetracked from the point of the video here, let's look at some of these, uh, this training where I'm working my striking and then reaching for my knife and that, Hardy Soul Taker just slides right out of that sheath. However, like I said, easy to access, easy to drop, easy to lose in a fall or a roll, and easy for someone else to grab out of my pocket. So there are some issues with making the sheath so easy to get at the knife. However, if you're looking for something production that's easy to access. The um, CRKT Obaki is one of my favorites. I carry one quite often. It's got a rip cord that attaches to your belt and it sits in your pocket. It's got a little hook that you can use or you can just tuck it in the pocket. It's um, good for appendix carry as well. And with a little creativity, you can find all sorts of ways to carry it. Now for me, I don't really like neck knives except as a secondary knife. And um, that's because they move around all over the place. You fall on your back, your knife might be under your armpit, you know, so I do often carry neck knives, but a pocket fixed blade is probably one of your best bets for everyday carry with ease of access. A fixed blade and appendix carry is also good. And I also find the scout carry quite easy to access a knife. However, one thing I don't like about the scout carry or the, you know, kidney horizontal carry is that it's easy for someone to access from behind or outside of your peripheral vision. But if you're gonna carry an edged tool, 
you should also train with it if you want to improvise it as a weapon in a worst case scenario. But having something to cut with is so handy. It's so handy in everyday chores, it's nice to have. And a fixed blade is really nice because if you're using it for heavier cutting chores, it is way less likely to fail. Fixed blades are the way to go if you are using it for any kind of bushcraft or anything like that. But even as an everyday tool, it's nice having a fixed blade because you could do so much more without having to worry about pins and locks failing and all that kind of stuff. And the nice thing about a pocket fixed blade is that it's easy access and you get used to reaching to the same spot that you will reach if you're carrying a folder. So even though there's one more step with a folding knife, carrying a pocket fixed blade allows you to use the same draw as you would with your folder except then you have to open it and this is the advantage of the fixed blade for quick access so when i'm working this stuff the beauty of the medusa system i have to say is the idea of shock and latch if you are effective at this initial preemptive strike you will likely if you're dealing with one opponent not have to reach for your edged weapon or whatever other tool you have because you can use the same methodology for a pocket stick a flashlight a pen whatever else you may be carrying but if you get that shock and latch done really well the stab doesn't have to happen because if you're dealing with one opponent he may be on the ground and I use masculine here because it's highly unlikely that I'm going to be assaulted by um, a woman although it does happen sometimes and it's becoming more common nowadays but men are statistically men are way more violent and are more likely to be your attacker. Way more likely. I'm getting a little off the topic of weapons access. I better get back on course. The Hardy Soul Taker. A fucking excellent blade. Neck knives carried in the pocket with a shortened chain attached to a belt or a belt loop is another excellent way to carry a fixed blade in the pocket. Pocket fixed blades can also be neck knives with aftermarket um, clips put on them. There's a lot of different ways that you can carry inexpensive production knives in the pocket. And that is a great way to access a weapon under pressure because we go into our pockets all the time. Now here I'm working with a knife out of the pocket and just trying to practice some quick sniping stabs and slashes, mainly stabs though. I am mainly targeting the eyes, the throat, and even the lungs a little bit here because I've been inspired by watching Scott Bob move in his um, Libra fighting videos and I think it's a great tactic. Even though it may require a higher level of skill and training, I think it is a valid tactic and I'm adding a bit of that to my training. Thank you.